Good morning. Hello. I love you. I'm proud of you. Good to see you again. And thanks for tuning in. You are the best. You are the best. <laughs> How are you guys today? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Do you feel empowered today? Do you feel mighty? Ah, you feel like a killer? Do you feel like you can win? Do you feel like you are a winner? What are you feeling? Don't let what's going on around you bring you down. Um, make you feel insignificant, um, unimportant, not valued. Um, we have a purpose in life. We all do. We're all here for a reason. We have wonderful gifts and talents and abilities. Um, let's not focus on the stuff <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> that we can't do right now. Because there are a lot of things we can't do right now. <laughs> but let's not use our energy complaining and thinking about that. Let's use our energy thinking about what we can do. How our lives can be, you know. Um, not after the quarantines have ended, but like right now in this moment, what can we do to be positive? What can we do to be hopeful? Um, what can we do to offer assistance? There are a lot of people out there who need help um, that maybe you can volunteer and you don't have to go there. Maybe something you can do online. Maybe you, something you can do on the telephone. People you can talk to to lift up their spirits. I don't know. Um, let's be creative and think about things to do that will help other people. If that's something that appeals to you, but don't sit around complaining. Be thankful. Be thankful. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you've suffered. I just know that the only way that I've ever made it through adversity and difficulties is through being positive. I have not, in all the things I've suffered, and I've been through lots of things. I have never made it through anything complaining. I never have. I may have had some times I felt real bitter and angry and disappointed. And I felt it. I did. But my situation never changed until I let go of that. And I began to be more positive and accepting of my life the way it was. Not the way I wanted it to be, but the way it was. And appreciating my life, appreciating, <clears throat> excuse me, the world that I lived in, appreciating the people in my life and the people in my world, then things began to change. I think that's just the way it is. You know, we have our moments when we're down, but we mustn't stay down. We've got to get up. We've got to always keep getting up and looking for ways to be better and to have more and to do more and to be more, you know. Um, and as I've told you guys before, like, no matter where I am in my world, I'm never there. <laughs> I am there living there physically, but my mind is always where I want to be. I've lived like that for so long, I can't even tell you how long. I'm where I want to be in my mind. I'm not talking about a fantasy world. I'm talking about my hopes and my expectations. They're never here. I'm always thinking greater and bigger. Always. Let's do that. Let's think outside of the virus. Where are we? Where do we want to be? And let's see ourselves there. Let's not see ourselves as failures and losers. Even if we lost jobs, we lost homes, maybe loved ones. <clears throat> I'm not making light of it. I'm really not because I know those things are difficult <coughs> excuse me, to go through. But after, after excuse me, you feel the pain of that loss, those losses, let it work itself through yourself and then begin to reflect on what you can do now to rebuild, to rebuild your life, rebuild your world. Um, let that be where your energy goes. I so encourage that. I've had great losses in my life. I've lost a number of um, my family members one after another for several years. It was like, is this ever going to stop? I do understand loss, and I understand loss from things I've suffered in my own life. But I encourage you, if you are going through things, 
have gone through things, well, don't stay there. Don't stay there in sadness and pain and self-pity in blame, unforgiveness, whatever. Let that go. Move on. Move on. So, again, it was a delight being here with you this morning. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> I love you. I uh, hope your day is wonderful and just full of wonder and awe. And um, just remember how beautiful this world is that we live in. And it is pretty fantastic. Um, the coronavirus didn't touch the sun. Can't touch the trees. Can't touch the beautiful oceans, the wonderful mountains. Can't touch the stars. Those things are still intact and they're still wonderful. All the beautiful flowers. Um, just the beauty of people in general. The beauty of music. The beauty of quiet. The beauty of peace. The beauty of happiness. The beauty of fulfillment. All of those things. The coronavirus can't touch that. So, and faith. It can't touch that. Hold on to those things. Anything else good you can think of. <clears throat> and just meditate on that. Good stuff. See, my earrings are flickering all around. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> I appreciate you. You are incredible people. You know you're my road dogs. All of them. Peace. See you in the morning, guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye.